No one can deny McCartney's meteoric rise to fame was his role as one of the founding members of the Beatles. The band's success, marked by a string of timeless hits and groundbreaking albums, catapulted McCartney into the global spotlight, where he has remained a cherished figure for over six decades. With such outstanding success, it is not surprising that McCartney owns a huge fortune. However, it is how he uses money that is worth discussing. From real estate to supercars, it all makes us overwhelmed. Join us to explore McCartney's luxurious 2024 life and how he spends money in this video. There is a fact that McCartney's musical prowess extends far beyond his tenure with the Beatles. Following the band's dissolution in 1970, he embarked on a solo career that further solidified his status as a musical virtuoso. From the introspective melodies of Maybe I'm Amazed to the infectious hooks of Band on the Run, McCartney's solo oeuvre showcases a depth of artistry that continues to captivate audiences worldwide. In addition to his solo endeavors, McCartney formed the band Wings in 1971, a venture that yielded a string of chart-topping hits and cemented his reputation as a versatile musician. With his wife, Linda McCartney, by his side, he navigated the tumultuous waters of the post-Beatles landscape, crafting a legacy that endured through the ages. Beyond his musical exploits, McCartney's acumen as a businessman is equally formidable. A shrewd investor, he has parlayed his success in the music industry into a diverse portfolio of ventures, ranging from real estate investments to lucrative business ventures. With an estimated net worth of over $1.2 billion, McCartney ranks among the wealthiest musicians in the world, a testament to his enduring influence and financial savvy. Notably, McCartney's penchant for wise spending has garnered widespread admiration. Despite his immense wealth, he remains grounded in his approach to fiscal responsibility, eschewing extravagance in favor of prudent investments and philanthropic endeavors. His 100 million real estate portfolio, extensive car collection, and penchant for luxurious vacations are tempered by a sense of moderation and mindfulness, reflecting a steadfast commitment to preserving his hard-earned fortune for future generations. Sir Paul McCartney's financial prowess extends beyond his savvy investments to his immensely successful solo music ventures, where he continues to amass staggering sums through tours, royalties, and timeless hits. According to Parade, McCartney's solo music tours command astronomical figures, with estimated ticket sales reaching a staggering $100 million. An active year on the touring circuit yields around $50 million in earnings for the musical Maestro, a testament to his enduring appeal and unparalleled stage presence. On a daily basis, McCartney's music ventures and royalties generate an astonishing average of 136,986, a testament to the enduring popularity of his extensive catalog. Notably, his perennial holiday classic, Wonderful Christmas Time, adds a substantial boost to his net worth, contributing between $400,000 to $600,000 annually. By 2021, the song alone had garnered estimated earnings of $16.8 million, underscoring its enduring popularity and McCartney's astute business acumen. McCartney's concert fees further illustrate his stature as one of the most sought-after performers in the world. With a commanding presence on stage, he charges a princely sum of around $6 million per concert a reflection of his unparalleled talent and timeless appeal. The commercial success of McCartney's solo albums also adds to his considerable wealth, with over $45 million worth of albums sold worldwide. However, it is his association with the iconic Beatles band that truly underscores his financial clout, with the group selling over 183 million units globally. McCartney's enduring legacy as a member of the Beatles continues to fuel his financial success, 
as fans young and old continue to clamor for the timeless melodies that have defined generations. According to American songwriter, McCartney embarked on a decades-long journey to reclaim the rights to the 251 songs created by the legendary band, a journey fraught with obstacles and setbacks. The story traces its origins back to 1985 when the King of Pop, Michael Jackson made headlines by swooping in to purchase the legal rights to the Beatles catalog for a reported $47 million outbidding his friend and former collaborator, McCartney. The move sparked tension between the two musical titans, souring their once amicable relationship and setting the stage for a protracted legal feud. In a stunning turn of events, Jackson later sold 50% of his stake in the catalog to Sony Music for a staggering $95 million, further complicating McCartney's efforts to reclaim control over his own musical legacy. The rift between McCartney and Jackson deepened in the wake of the deal, with the former Beatles frontman lamenting the loss of his cherished compositions to a business rival. Tragedy struck the music world with Jackson's untimely death, Yet the legal complexities surrounding the Beatles' catalog persisted. Sony Music seized the opportunity to acquire the remaining 50% of the rights for a staggering $750 million, solidifying its control over one of the most coveted assets in the music industry. By this time, the Beatles' catalog had skyrocketed in value to an estimated $1 billion, underscoring its enduring appeal and cultural significance. Undeterred by the formidable challenges that lay ahead, McCartney refused to relinquish his quest to regain control over the beloved songs that had defined a generation. In 2017, he took decisive action by filing a lawsuit against Sony Music, initiating a protracted legal battle that would ultimately culminate in a historic victory. After years of contentious litigation, McCartney emerged triumphant, securing the rights to the Beatles catalog through an undisclosed settlement with Sony Music. The resolution of the long-standing dispute marked a watershed moment in McCartney's illustrious career, allowing him to reclaim ownership of his musical legacy and cement his status as one of the most influential figures in the history of popular music. Sir Paul McCartney's financial empire stands as a testament to his enduring influence and remarkable business acumen, with an estimated annual income of $70 million derived from a diverse array of revenue streams. At the heart of McCartney's financial success lies his ownership of the most coveted Beatles catalog, comprising 251 timeless compositions that continue to resonate with audiences worldwide. The Beatles catalog, valued at a staggering $1 billion, serves as the cornerstone of McCartney's vast wealth, generating substantial royalties from various sources. From radio airplay to streaming services, the enduring popularity of Beatles classics ensures a steady stream of income for McCartney, who retains exclusive rights to the iconic songs that have defined generations. In addition to his ownership of the Beatles catalog, McCartney's financial portfolio includes the rights to the music of revered artists Buddy Holly and Carl Perkins, further diversifying his revenue streams and solidifying his status as a preeminent figure in the music industry. McCartney's financial prowess extends beyond royalties to encompass merchandise sales, album releases, and lucrative licensing agreements. His enduring popularity as a cultural icon ensures a constant demand for Beatles memorabilia, with merchandise sales contributing significantly to his annual earnings. Furthermore, McCartney's solo endeavors continue to yield substantial returns, with album sales and concert tours adding to his considerable fortune. From sold-out stadium shows to chart-topping albums, McCartney's status as a solo artist remains undiminished, further enhancing his financial standing and global influence. Sir Paul McCartney's expansive real estate portfolio reflects not only his unparalleled financial success, but also his discerning taste and appreciation for luxurious living. With an estimated $100 million worth of properties spanning the globe, McCartney's investments encompass a diverse array of prestigious residences, each exuding opulence, and prestige. Among his most notable acquisitions is the breathtaking $4 million Beverly Hills estate, 
nestled within a sprawling 190-acre expanse of verdant splendor. Situated amidst the glitz and glamour of Los Angeles, this luxurious retreat serves as a haven of tranquility and refinement, offering McCartney an idyllic sanctuary away from the hustle and bustle of city life. In his native United Kingdom, McCartney's property holdings are equally impressive, with six exclusive residences scattered across the countryside. Foremost among these is a majestic 1,500-acre mega-mansion located in the picturesque environs of East Sussex. Boasting unparalleled grandeur and elegance, this sprawling estate epitomizes the epitome of luxury living, serving as a testament to McCartney's stature as a global icon. In addition to his East Sussex estate, McCartney's British properties include a charming country estate in Scotland where he can retreat to the serene beauty of the Scottish Highlands. This bucolic retreat offers panoramic views of rolling hills and verdant meadows, providing McCartney with a serene escape from the rigors of public life. Across the Atlantic, McCartney's transatlantic holdings include a lavish villa in East Hampton, Long Island, renowned for its exclusive enclaves and pristine beaches. This stylish retreat serves as a luxurious getaway for McCartney and his family, offering unparalleled comfort and sophistication amidst the tranquil beauty of the Hamptons. In the heart of Manhattan, McCartney's real estate portfolio includes a chic penthouse overlooking the iconic skyline of New York City. Situated amidst the vibrant energy of Manhattan's bustling streets, this stylish residence offers McCartney a front-row seat to the cultural epicenter of the world, with breathtaking views of the city's most iconic landmarks. Finally, McCartney's property holdings extend to a modest townhouse in New York, strategically located overlooking the prestigious Museum of Modern Art. This understated yet elegant residence serves as a pied-à-terre for McCartney during his visits to the Big Apple, providing a comfortable and convenient base from which to explore the city's endless attractions. Besides, MPL Communications stands as a testament to Sir Paul McCartney's entrepreneurial spirit and visionary approach to the music industry. Established in 1969, this multifaceted enterprise serves as the cornerstone of McCartney's vast business empire, wielding unparalleled influence in the realm of music publishing and intellectual property rights. From its inception, MPL Communications set out to revolutionize the music industry by providing a comprehensive platform for the management and distribution of musical works. Under McCartney's stewardship, the company quickly emerged as a global powerhouse, garnering acclaim as the world's largest privately owned music publishing company. Central to MPL's success is its strategic acquisition of coveted intellectual properties, beginning with the rights to the 1970 movie Rupert Bear. This landmark deal marked MPL's foray into the realm of music publications, laying the foundation for a series of high-profile acquisitions that would cement its status as a dominant force in the industry. Over the years, MPL Communications has played a pivotal role in controlling the music rights of some of the most iconic artists in the world. From legendary rock bands to chart-topping solo artists, MPL's expansive catalog encompasses a diverse array of musical genres and styles, reflecting McCartney's unwavering commitment to preserving and promoting musical excellence. In addition to its formidable presence in the music publishing arena, MPL Communications boasts a vast network of subsidiary companies, further solidifying its influence and reach within the industry. With 25 subsidiary companies under its umbrella, MPL leverages its extensive resources and expertise to provide a comprehensive suite of services to artists and creators worldwide. Sir Paul McCartney's passion for classic cars transcends mere ownership, evolving into a curated collection of automotive masterpieces that reflect his discerning taste and unparalleled style. With an eclectic array of rare and iconic vehicles, McCartney's garage is a testament to his love for automotive craftsmanship and design. 
At the heart of McCartney's collection is the legendary 1964 Aston Martin DB5, a masterpiece of engineering and elegance valued at $2 million. Customized to suit McCartney's unique needs, this iconic car features a reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder, allowing the prolific musician to capture song ideas on the go. With its timeless design and unparalleled performance, the Aston Martin DB5 stands as a symbol of McCartney's enduring creativity and innovation. In addition to the Aston Martin, McCartney's collection boasts a customized Cadillac CTS, exemplifying his penchant for luxury and comfort. From its sleek lines to its sumptuous interior, this bespoke vehicle embodies McCartney's commitment to excellence and style. McCartney's automotive journey traces back to his early years with his first ride, a 1962 Ford Console Classic 315, serving as a nostalgic reminder of his humble beginnings. Over the years, he has expanded his collection to include a 1966 Austin Healey 3000 and a Lamborghini 400 GT, each representing a unique chapter in his storied career. Among McCartney's current favorites are the Lexus LS 600 Age and a 2003 convertible Chevrolet C5 Corvette, both renowned for their performance and luxury. From the refined elegance of the Lexus to the exhilarating power of the Corvette, these vehicles embody McCartney's eclectic tastes and appreciation for automotive excellence. In addition to his passion for classic cars, McCartney is also an avid collector of musical instruments, with a diverse array of guitars and other stringed instruments adorning his collection. From the timeless craftsmanship of the Framus Zenith Model 17 to the iconic sound of the Gibson guitars, McCartney's instruments reflect his lifelong dedication to music and creativity. Sir Paul McCartney's visionary investment strategies also extend beyond the realm of music and entertainment, encompassing cutting-edge ventures poised to shape the future of society. Among his notable forays into the world of technology is his investment in Jaunt a pioneering software development firm dedicated to pushing the boundaries of virtual reality, VR, and immersive media experiences. With a keen eye for innovation and a deep-seated belief in the transformative power of technology, McCartney seized the opportunity to invest in Jaunt. Recognizing its potential to revolutionize the way people consume and interact with content. The deal valued at an impressive $27 million, underscores McCartney's commitment to fostering technological advancements that have the potential to redefine entire industries. At the heart of Jaunt's mission is a relentless pursuit of innovation, driven by a desire to create immersive experiences that blur the lines between physical and digital realities. Leveraging cutting-edge VR technology and proprietary software solutions, Jaunt aims to transport users to new worlds, enabling them to explore, create, and connect in ways previously unimaginable. McCartney's investment in Jaunt reflects his forward-thinking approach to philanthropy and social responsibility as he continually seeks out opportunities to support technologically backed firms that hold the promise of a brighter, more interconnected future. By providing financial backing and strategic guidance to visionary startups like Jaunt, McCartney plays a pivotal role in driving forward the pace of technological progress and shaping the trajectory of society as a whole. Beyond his investment in Jaunt, McCartney's commitment to technological innovation is evident in his ongoing support for a wide range of initiatives and projects aimed at harnessing the power of technology for the greater good. Whether funding research into renewable energy solutions supporting initiatives to bridge the digital divide, or championing initiatives to promote STEM education, McCartney's philanthropic efforts underscore his belief in the transformative potential of technology to address some of the most pressing challenges facing humanity. Sir Paul McCartney's personal life is as rich and complex as his legendary musical career, characterized by enduring love, familial bonds, and the occasional tumultuous chapter.
His journey through marriage, parenthood, and personal triumphs and tribulations paints a vivid portrait of a man whose humanity transcends his status as a global icon. In 1969, McCartney exchanged vows with Linda Eastman, a passionate animal rights activist whose unwavering support and steadfast companionship would become the bedrock of his life for over three decades. Together, they embarked on a journey filled with love, laughter, and the joys of parenthood, welcoming four children into their family and nurturing them with boundless love and encouragement. Tragically, Linda's life was cut short by cancer in 1998, leaving McCartney devastated by the loss of his beloved wife and soulmate. Yet true to his resilient spirit, McCartney found love once again, marrying Heather Mills in 2002. Their union brought a new chapter of happiness and hope into McCartney's life, culminating in the birth of their daughter. However, McCartney's second marriage would ultimately end in acrimony, with a highly publicized divorce from Mills in 2008. The dissolution of their union came at a steep financial cost, with McCartney reportedly paying a staggering $48.7 million settlement, equating to approximately $34,000 per day, for their four-year marriage tenure. Despite the challenges and complexities of their relationship, McCartney remained steadfast in his commitment to supporting his children and providing for their well-being. Indeed, McCartney's devotion to his children has been a defining aspect of his life, as he supported them throughout their growth and development, nurturing their talents and aspirations. Notably, his daughter Stella McCartney has achieved renown as a world-renowned fashion designer, building a massive empire grounded in sustainability and social responsibility. Away from the spotlight, McCartney cherishes moments spent with family and friends, often indulging in luxurious vacations to exotic destinations around the globe. From the elite shores of St. Bart's to the sun-kissed beaches of Jamaica and the idyllic landscapes of Anguilla and Athens, McCartney's globe-trotting adventures reflect his insatiable thirst for new experiences and cultural enrichment. Despite his immense wealth and global renown, McCartney remains humble and grounded, viewing his financial success as a means to further his philanthropic endeavors and support causes close to his heart. With a net worth estimated at $1.2 billion, McCartney's legacy transcends mere monetary wealth, encompassing a lifetime of musical innovation, cultural influence, and unwavering commitment to making the world a better place. What do you think about Paul McCartney's 2024 life and how he spends money? Leave us your comments in the section below. We hope you have found this helpful video. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.